Good morning, everyone. Start up the truck here. It is Tuesday morning. We're here at Pilot. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're gonna be heading to Allentown today. Got this load from Kenosha yesterday. Worked out really good. Got home. I actually went home home last night and uh, stayed at home. And that's always nice to do. Good morning, Chalupa. Let's see here. We don't do this? Yeah, we are. I'm going to pull up there and get some fuel. Pop off the death. Next reload is in Akron tomorrow. So I'll be able to grab that load and get that up to Kenosha. So... It'll be good, but it's always nice to have a night during the week that you get to go home. That's always so nice. So nice. Let's go. that I took over the weekend uh, between Friday and, uh, well, I think I only filmed on Friday. I think I'm waiting for Saturday and Sunday still. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and show you that footage now, and then I will catch up with you when we are in Brookville, which is not far off, by the way. We're at the 102. Uh, I need to go to the 78. So we are, are getting closer. We are covering some good ground here but you don't need to stare at this dirty windshield I'll get that clean uh, so go ahead and uh, check out the footage from this previous weekend this is nice yeah I'm thinking about buying it actually what was that? Did you see that? What was that? Did you see that? Something just landed on me. Yeah, I'm thinking about buying it. Took it for a test drive. I liked it. No, I'm kidding. I'm not a Corvette guy. I drive a truck. This is mine. And that's mine. And that's mine. My other one's inside playing basketball. Well, happy Saturday, everybody. I'm trying so hard to get a, a weekend vlog out for you, but it is so difficult because we are just so busy. It is unreal. Uh, yesterday was Friday. I got home yesterday morning, and uh, Bentley had basketball practice, and Abby had basketball practice. And then today, Saturday, Bentley had a basketball game, and Abby has a basketball game. Emily starts basketball next week, Plus, um, Emily and Bentley are in gymnastics two days a week, and oh, it's just so much is, is going on. It's just unreal. So, um, Wednesday, I had called my dispatcher when I was in Kenosha, and I asked him, <clears throat> I said, can I have a favor? And uh, I told him, I said, listen, there's going to be so much going on this weekend. Is it possible to, yes? I fell on the rocks and I got this. You fell on the rocks and scraped your knee? Yeah. Add that to all your other scrapes. You still have that band-aid then? No? I don't Oh, okay. Well, we'll get you cleaned up. But I asked him, I said, can I have a favor? Listen, there's so much going on here. 
is it possible just to, after I deliver an Allentown on Thursday, can I wait until Monday for a reload? And he said, I'll get it worked out. And then two minutes later, after I got off the phone, he sent me a Monday reload. And I was so thankful for that. I got home yesterday morning, uh, early-ish. I don't know, I got home, what time did I get home? Like 6.30, 6.45. Uh, maybe even seven actually i can't remember now but it's just way too much going on uh today we got sunny's tank completely cleaned and scrubbed down and disinfected and everything else sunny's the banana ball python uh, that we have so had to get that taken care of abby has a diorama for school that we've been all trying to work on and help out with and then basketball games basketball practice you know, you try to take a break when you go home, but it's almost impossible. There, there's more stuff going on at home that just stops you from having like any relaxation. And that's okay. It's, it's just part of life. You bust your butt all week for work. You go home on the weekends and you bust your butt at home. I try to do everything I can to give my wife a break, but she doesn't stop. She just doesn't stop either. We're constantly doing something insane but that's basically what it is so they're in the last quarter of the uh of the game these two are starting to get antsy so i yeah, will we'll come outside then let them play on the playground at the school next door here and uh and that corvette's just sitting there i don't know if that's a you corvette guys uh, help me out is that is that the c8 I don't want to show the back end because I don't want to show his license plate. But <clears throat> I don't know if that's a C8, one of those new ones, or because these Corvettes don't say. Yeah, it just says Corvette. So that's sharp, but I don't know. Those cars, they just don't mean anything to me. I'm, I'm not a Corvette guy, I'm a truck guy. Like I got the Ram 1500. I love it, it's been a great truck for me. It's a shame that it sits at the truck stop all week in the parking lot, but, you know, park it up by the building, leave it there. <sighs> oh, well. You got to do what you got to do. So. Oh. They should be done here shortly from inside. And then we'll head home. It's not, it's not late. Yesterday was the later day here. Right now it is 5 o'clock. So they should be done probably within the next minute or so, I would imagine, and they'll be coming out. Uh, I don't remember. I think the score was tied when I walked out. Um, Bentley's team, they got slaughtered. <laughs> it was like 32 to 2. I mean, they got just creamed. It was just unbelievable. But the way this is set up, this isn't through a school. This is just through a church that uh, is in the area, and they were... They were doing something for the kids to be able to uh, still play basketball. And it's really nice how they have it set up because there's not a lot of competition. It's kind of learn as they go type of thing. And there's just no pressure. They're out there, they're all having fun. No kids are arguing. There's no kids that are fighting. I'm, I am cooking up a sneeze right now. I felt it. Well, it went away, but Either way, there's no pressure, there's no competition. It's great, so definitely works out really good. Good morning. Almost 5 a.m. I'm about to get on the road here in a few minutes. I uh, got up around four o'clock. We, we did make it to Brookville. Got here, at, uh, parked at 6.30. I'm going to head up to the fuel bay there and I'm going to clean off this windshield and we're going to make our way to Akron because that's the right thing to do because that's where our pickup is so that's where we're going to go. It's a little chilly this morning but it feels great. I'm ready for the colder weather to finally just fully set in. That'd be nice. But uh, <clears throat> another day. This week's been going by fast, though. Today's already Thursday now. Man. Anyways, we're going to be getting on the road here soon. So, 
I appreciate you tuning in today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. That really helps us out a lot. Leave me a comment. Like these videos, share these videos. Follow me on all social media. You know, we've got Facebook, The Daily Driver Show. Uh, Instagram, TruckerDave252. Man, let's finish waking up and get on the road here. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day, and have a great hike.